fourth problem in your study material the boiling point of a sample of water under atmospheric pressure is recorded to be 102 degree does that sample represent a pure substance explain see here this question children it has three parts now you have to decide how much you have to write the answer if the question is having one mark then you have to write a short answer if the question is having two mark then you have to give reason and if the question is having three marks then you have to explain it then only you can score full so here let us see the question again boiling point of a sample of water under atmospheric pressure is recorded to be 102 degree boiling point how much it is given 102 degree uh, this is boiling point of water and what about the atmospheric pressure normal atmospheric pressure atmospheric pressure is given means normal atmospheric pressure usually what is the boiling point of water actually the boiling of point of water is 100 degree but this is about pure water so what is asked does the sample represent a pure substance no it is not pure that much is enough for one mark that because boiling point of water pure water is 100 degree and here it is given 102 degree so the the sample does not represent the pure substance but if it is for two marks then you have to write this also explanation is asked you have to explain why it is not pure because we as we know that the impurities they increase the boiling point of a substance so this water which is given here as a sample it is not pure it contains some impurity and therefore the boiling point is increased it is a mixture of water with some impurity then next problem in your study material that is fifth question is 22 carat gold a mixture or a pure substance you are not asked directly what is a pure substance define a pure substance define a mixture define a compound it is not asked but based on this what is asked is 22 carat gold a mixture or a pure substance comment you have to give the comments now we know that the pure gold it is what pure gold is 24 carat this is pure gold and what is given here 22 carat gold right so is it a mixture or a pure substance it is a mixture why it is a mixture because 24 carat gold is pure gold and because here it is given 22 carat so it is a mixture either two carats of silver is there or copper is there and that also i told you that why do we mix silver or copper we do not make uh, this uh, jewelry of 24 carat gold or pure gold because pure gold is very soft if you make out of it then it will break very easily to make it hard what is done two carats of silver or copper is added and actually this is what if you say here one more point that it is an alloy then you will be distinguished from other children that you that it proves that you know more you have depth of knowledge this much writing it is okay but if you mention here a word alloy that it is an alloy of 
gold and silver or gold or copper then you will be distinguished from other children that you know you have some extra knowledge or you have the uh, depth of the knowledge. Then come to the next problem children that is sixth problem in your study material. A given sample is found to have a fixed sharp melting point. Can you regard it as a mixture? Explain. Same thing you are not asked directly that what is a mixture, define mixture. But what is done? A given sample is found to have a fixed sharp melting point. Now we know that if a substance is, have, is having fixed sharp melting point then what does it prove? A pure substance it has fixed sharp melting point, fixed sharp boiling point and density also is fixed defined right. So here it is given that a fixed sharp melting point is there. So can you regard it as a mixture? No, it is not a mixture but because it has a fixed melting point, boiling point or melting point therefore it is a pure substance. Now next problem in your study material children that is problem number 8. State one instance where water undergoes a physical change and one in which it undergoes a chemical change. You are not asked directly what is physical change, define physical change, define chemical change. We know that a physical change what happens only the physical properties changes no new substance is formed. And you can get the original substances back. But in chemical change all the properties changes a new substance is formed with new properties and you cannot reverse it, you cannot get back the original substance. This is about the, so this concept of physical change and chemical change is there in your mind. Now based on this you are asked that state one instance where water undergoes a physical change, physical change water it changes into ice on cooling this is a physical change or if you heat water another example if you heat water then what what happens it changes into water vapor so these two are the examples where water is changing into uh, this is uh, liquid and this is solid. This is liquid again, this is gaseous state. So only physical change is there. Now you have to mention one in which water is undergoing chemical change. If you pass electric current through water if you pass electric current through water that is electrolysis of water you will get what hydrogen and oxygen this is what liquid and this is what gas so there is a change from liquid state to gaseous state and it is a chemical change because water has different properties, hydrogen has different property and oxygen has different property. Water is used for fire as a fire extinguisher, hydrogen you can burn if you burn hydrogen it burns very readily with a pop sound and oxygen itself is a supporter of burning right. So these this is a compound this is a compound and this is element and this is also an element with different properties. So this is a chemical chain water undergoing electrolysis to give hydrogen and oxygen. So these are the this is the solution of this problem. 
Now next problem is ninth problem in the study material. Fading of a carpet on repeated exposure to sunlight is it a physical or a chemical change? Usually you might have seen children that when we wash the clothes continuously and where after washing we expose it to sunlight then it gets the cloth gets faded or otherwise here what is given is carpet that carpet carpet if it is exposed to sunlight then what happens the color fades that is very common uh, experience that is our very common experience that uh, the clothes after repeated washing and exposure to sunlight it gets fade. So what is asked here is it a physical change or a chemical change what kind of change it is it is a chemical change why it is a chemical change because the color which is present in the carpet or in the cloth that color is having dye and the, that dye it is responsible for giving the color to that cloth or to the carpet. But if this is exposed to the sunlight then this dye it changes its chemical composition changes and therefore the color fades. So what type of change it is? It is a chemical change because that dye it has changed chemical change has taken place chemical composition of the dye has changed and therefore the color also changes or you can say it fades. So this is about the <coughs> now next problem in your study material children. All these problems they are based on mixture, element, compound, physical change, chemical change. You are given two samples. One is pure water and the other is a solution of common salt in water. Without testing you have not to test. I have given you two beaker. In one beaker there is only water. And in another beaker there is I have added common salt to that water and I, I am not allowing you to taste it then how you will distinguish between them. How you will distinguish just think over children one is pure water and the other is impure. So what you can uh, uh, what conclusion you can draw from this hint that the substance which is pure it will boil at a fixed temperature. So you will heat both the solution both the solution means one is water and the other is uh, mixture of salt and water. So you will heat both the things that's a, that which one is boiling exactly at 100 degree that is pure water and that which is boiling above 100 degree because impurity is there salt is there. So that will the, the one which is having salt that will boil at a higher temperature. So that will be a salt solution and the other which one is boiling exactly at 100 degree that will be pure water. So th this way you can distinguish. So questions are based from theory only children. They the base is that thing only that fundamentals or the concepts or theory should be very clear to you. Then you can uh, do you, you can solve any kind of question just you have to think over and go on practicing just by solving one or two questions you, you will not be able to same type of questions you solve five five times six six questions six types of questions seven types of questions then it will give you practice and that will sharpen your brain and you will your thinking capacity and then you will try to think either this way or that way or that way and you know the answer. Now next question of uh, your study material that is without using a magnet how will you separate the components of a mixture of iron filings and sulphur. What you have is iron filing and sulphur. 
both are mixed if i give you magnet you can easily separate this because iron gets attracted towards magnet but i am not giving you magnet i am not allowing you to separate it by magnet i am asking you to separate these two uh, uh, this mixture you have to separate that is iron and sulfur then what you will do you will dissolve this dissolve this mixture in carbon disulfide what is this carbon disulfide chemical formula is ch2 this is a liquid and in this liquid sulfur is soluble sulfur dissolves in it so now you have a mixture of iron filing sulfur dissolved in carbon disulfide now you what you will do you will filter it ah uh, when you will filter then what you will get here after filtration filtrate will have sulfur and iron filings will be left on filter paper right so what you are doing here children that you are having sulfur and iron filings you have mixed together and i am asking you to separate them without the help of magnet now what you will do you will add carbon disulfide that is a liquid that is a chemical now this carbon disulfide it will dissolve sulfur now this you will take this solution and you are having a filter paper in the funnel put that solution on that filter paper then whatever comes down it will have sulfur and whatever is left on the funnel that will be iron filing and from this solution of carbon disulfide and sulfur you can re get back the sulfur in this way you can separate the two things then next problem that is 12th one when iron is exposed to air and moisture a brown colored substance called rust is obtained is it a physical or a chemical change what is the chemical nature of rust it is our common very common experience children now generally in rainy season iron things they get rusted and you can see a brown layer on that so what is it first question is asked is that iron is exposed to air and moisture in rainy season why this happens more in rainy season less in summer season because in rainy season moisture is there present in the air it is too much of moisture is there in the air during the rainy season so iron gets rusted very fast during the rainy season so that is already given in the question that iron is exposed to air and moisture and a brown colored layer is formed right so for you are asked whether it is a physical change or a chemical change why it is a physical uh, why is it is a chemical change because a new substance is formed can you get back the iron and oxygen from the rust can you get the rust uh, pure uh, this uh, uh, iron from the rusted iron no so it is a chemical change and try at your home also you might have seen some of the things they get rusted they have got rusted so try to bring a magnet near that and see whether it gets attracted or not pure iron it will get attracted iron things they get attracted but here what has happened this uh, rust is formed and rust is brown in color so bring a magnet near this rust and you will see it say that see that it is not getting attracted it means that is there is a chemical change properties of iron they have changed 
because here a new substance is formed. And next what is asked what is the chemical nature of the rust? Iron we write chemical formula for iron is this and here oxide of iron is formed that is Fe2O3 and of course here it is hydrated form. Hydrated form is having water molecules in it. So, nature of that rust or that brown particle it is what oxide of iron that is Fe2O3 and 2H2O that is hydrated form. Hydrated form I told you that it has water molecule right. So, this is about the rusting of the iron. Then next problem of your study material children all these problems and see some other books also and you will get similar kind of problems and try to solve them go on solving more and more so that you can clear them very easily whenever they are asked. Next problem is 13 1 is cutting of trees a chemical or a physical change all these problems they are based on what physical and chemical changes. Firstly we have done about element mixture and compound pure substance impure substance and now we are uh, doing the problems based on physical and chemical changes. So, what is your problem is cutting of trees a chemical or a physical change explain when you cut a tree then one part goes here one part goes here. But do you find any change in the chemi uh, this uh, chemical composition by seeing we say that we uh, there is no chemical change only it has broken down into two. Just take the example of this chalk if I break it into two this is what physical change, but here it is non living. So, it is a physical change the bigger part uh, um, uh, chalk piece has uh, broken down I have broken down and it has changed into two smaller pieces, but because it is non living. So, it is a physical change, but in case of cutting of trees children when you cut the tree then what happens the that part which is cut usually trees they grow how by the process of photosynthesis they make the food and they grow, but one part you have cut down. So, what is happening the chemical composition or you can say bacterial composition has changed here and rate of photosynthesis will also be less because that part which you have cut down that will means this complete tree was doing the process of photosynthesis now one you have one part you have cut down. So, the process of photosynthesis will be less. So, because of bacterial decomposition and photosynthesis because of these two reasons it is a chemical change cutting of tree is chemical change because by cutting what you have done you have taken out one part of that tree and because of that bacterial decomposition has changed and process of photosynthesis is also changed and therefore, it is a chemical change. Now, next problem in your study material burning of LPG that is liquid petroleum gas burning of LPG is a chemical change this is what a chemical change when you burn LPG it is a chemical change, but burning of candle. burning of candle it involves both
physical as well as chemical change here if you burn liquefied petroleum gas then we say that it is a chemical change but when you burn a candle then we say that it also undergoes physical change and as well as chemical change why because if suppose this is a candle children and when you burn it then what happens this is solid wax when you burn it then first this solid wax it gets liquefied it gets liquefied here you can see liquid wax just below the wick of the this thing you will see here it is liquid wax so this solid it is changing into liquid so what is it it is a physical change and after changing this solid to the liquid wax now this liquid wax it rises to the wick this is the wick of the candle and then it starts burning and it changes into vapor and it gives you heat and light this liquid wax rises up the wick changes into vapor and then burns gives heat and light clear that is the reason it is a chemical change also both changes are there that is first the solid wax it changes into liquid wax therefore it is a physical change but this liquid wax it changes into it rises up the wick it changes into vapors it starts burning it changes into vapors and on burning you get uh, this uh, heat and light and therefore it is a chemical change and what is being produced here carbon dioxide gas what is being produced here that is carbon dioxide gas can you get back the wax from this carbon dioxide gas no it means it is a chemical change you cannot get back the original substances that is the property of a chemical change now next problem of your study material children that is problem number 15 is milk a pure substance what is asked is is milk a pure substance comment now all of you have seen milk what is a pure substance pure substance is, means it must be made up of only one kind of particle or one kind of same kind of was so same one kind of particles but in milk you will see that water is there fats are there proteins are there plus many other things are also there children and again it will depend how much fat will be there it will depend upon the source from where we are getting if the milkman is adding more of water then it it will have more water if suppose you are taking directly from the dairy then it will have more of fats and proteins so this is not a pure substance the chemical composition is not fixed it changes from one place to another that is from source 
from which source you are getting and therefore it is not a pure substance it is a mixture. Then next problem of your study material children that explain why sodium chloride solution is regarded as a mixture sodium chloride solution. solution is regarded as a mixture while sodium chloride it is itself a pure substance sodium chloride solution means you have added sodium chloride in water and we say that it is a mixture. What happens children that when you add this sodium chloride to water suppose this is the beaker and in this beaker there is present water. Now you are adding this sodium chloride to it. NaCl that is sodium chloride you are adding it. Now in this solution what happens this sodium chloride because it is an ionic compound so you will not get here a complete particle of sodium chloride. In this mixture you will have sodium and chlorine. This sodium chloride in water it breaks up into sodium and chlorine particle therefore we say that it is a mixture it is not a uh, pure substance it has two or more things. Now in case of this sodium chloride alone you suppose I have in a container I have kept this sodium chloride no water is there these are the particles of sodium chloride. So these particles of sodium chloride they are a single particle not broken up. So this is a pure substance and here it is a mixture. Then next problem of your study material children. So you see children all the problems they are based they are you can say around your third theoretical part only. So do your theory particle very thoroughly understand everything do not by heart read one time two time three time then you will be able to understand children very clear concept you will have and then you can answer any question. So this is now 17th problem that is you are given a solution of sugar in water and a mixture of sugar and sand. What you have? Solution of sugar, sugar in water that is sugar solution and second thing what you are given a mixture of sand and sugar sand plus sugar this is a mixture state one property in which they resemble each other and one property in which they differ from each other this is a solution this is a mixture we say that mixture is also a solution mixture is also called as solution. So this is the similarity and this similarity is this that this is a heterogeneous mixture and this is a homogeneous mixture.
here you are having sugar in water this is a sugar solution this is a true solution this is not a true solution because you can see both the things sand and sugar and it is heterogeneous mixture mixture is also called as solution or you can say solution is also called as mixture so this is a heterogeneous mixture this is a homogeneous mixture but both are mixture this is similarity and this similarity is this that one is homogeneous mixture and the other is heterogeneous mixture so all the questions which we are solving children they are reasoning logical reasoning they are based on logical reasoning so you have to reason you have to think over you have to understand then give two reasons to support the statement that carbon dioxide is a compound not a mixture you have to give two reasons to support that the carbon dioxide gas it is a compound but it is not a mixture again the difference you have to find out in between a compound and a mixture those uh, this uh, uh, properties of compound properties of mixture you have to again recall in your mind and then you have to compare and you, then you can say that carbon dioxide is a compound see what are the properties of compound compound it is formed from two or more elements here this carbon dioxide it is formed from carbon and oxygen carbon is what element oxygen is element and both of them have combined and formed carbon dioxide so this is a compound one reason now properties of carbon different properties of oxygen different totally different from carbon dioxide oxygen is a supporter of burning carbon itself burns but carbon dioxide it is used for extinguishing so properties are totally different again second property of compound that properties of the uh, product which is formed here it is totally different from the uh, your, this constituents then you cannot get back carbon and oxygen from carbon dioxide process is reversible so it is a compound means you have to give all the properties of carbon dioxide only uh, this compound only children you have to recall the property of mixture and properties of compound on the basis of this you have to explain that car carbon dioxide is a compound not a mixture so many exercises we have done children today based on compound element mixture solution and the physical chemical changes S re refer to some more books and you will get many examples go through them solve again and again and you will uh, the concepts will be very clear and in our next session we will do the next topic this is all children